If you haven't jetted off on your post-pandemic dream vacation just yet, here's a little inspiration for you. Jen Herrera spoke to one of the hosts of the Netflix show, The World's Most Amazing Vacation Rentals, about some of the incredible places she's discovered during her travels. You don't need a lot of money to have a great time. Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about this gig you have, because let me tell you, I mean, it doesn't get better than this, does it? It's a pretty sweet gig. It's a pretty sweet gig. <laughs> it's pretty wild, I know. Do you like it? I love it. You can't even hear him, he's so high up. <laughs> This is a show on steroids of travel, of seeing the most amazing places, and my background is not that. Like, I have traveled, but not to the most incredible places in the world. So I grew up in between cultures. I'm Brazilian, but I grew up in the States. So as a kid, I always wanted to do something global because when you don't fit in one culture, you want to fit in all of them. So I started traveling really cheaply in college and later in my early 20s and sleeping in hostels and taking cheap buses and basically mastered the art of traveling with not much money and posted everything on YouTube. And then when the show came out, the auditions were happening and you know, it's like another job, you audition and you get chosen. And I'm like, ah, I can't believe I get to do this. And it was really cool because it seemed like all of the years of me traveling and seeing all of these amazing places, but also looking at the history and learning the language, it all came together for this show and this job and this experience. These are ultimate vacation rentals and we automatically think luxury, but you just kind of alluded to it. It's more than that. It's getting into the culture. And I know that Miami Joe is a place for you where you really feel that. I love Miami so much. It's funny, before I could leave the country, I was always going to Miami because it reminded me so much of Latin America. You know, you have the Cuban influence. And so it's my one of my favorite places in the States. And in the show, we get to go there. We stay in this ridiculous boat called the Ark Up. And it was my property. So each of us had our categories. Megan chose budget properties. I chose unique properties. And Louise chose luxury properties. So I chose the Ark Up because it doesn't get more unique than a fully sustainable floor floating home that turns into a boat that's luxury and, and floats out into the bay. It's like, what? So we show that experience. Oh my God, we're moving. All right, Woo! we are moving. And they're not the most expensive. These aren't the luxury properties. So what I love so much is that not only did we get to see these places, but viewers can actually book the places. Like people have been sending me DMs of confirmation codes. I'm like, yay. <laughs> okay, um, let's get real before I let you go. It's hard to travel with your family. I know when I'm away with my husband and my kids for longer than two days, I'm like, y'all just like back up. What was it really like traveling with those two? We got close. We got <laughs> very close. And we became siblings at the end of it. You know, I actually really love traveling in a group. We were able to see travel through each other's eyes, which is why you want to travel with other people. <laughs> to our next adventure.